Hello and welcome to the Enjarati Studios at European Utility Week 2016. My name is Ade and I'm joined by Livio Gallo, Head of Global Business Line Infrastructure and Networks at Enel. Good morning. <laughs> Livio, how are you doing today? How have you found the show so far? I'm doing fine here. It's always a very, very interesting experience to share with friends, colleagues, with the other utilities the present which we are living in today, but also the future, the expansion of the technology, the evolution of the technology, and to listen to all the interesting news and presentation of the colleagues. It's been a big year for Enel. Uh, yeah. We've seen the rebrand with Endesa, yes. um, we've seen uh, the projects, and you gave a presentation around digitization and convergence. Is it okay if I um, take some of these issues and just ask you some yes, of your personal of thoughts? Yes, it's a pleasure. Brilliant. Yeah. So digitization, we're hearing everybody's talking about it. Yes. Why is it something you're particularly passionate about? D digitalization, I think, is today essential for the distributors as to be the main strategic objective for every distribution company because we are managing a very, very complex situation, mainly in Europe today managing hundreds of thousands of renewables connected to the network and we have to manage the intermittent energy coming from the sun, from the wind and so on. For instance, in Italy we have more or less 650,000 prosumers connected to our network. Which are, we are, prosumers are producers and consumers which can become, from consumer can become producer if they generate energy and jet into the network for instance. So it's a very complex uh, situation to be managed. And also, I think the evolution of the technology is pushing us ahead to find new innovative solutions for our customer, and the customers are very demanding. The idea, the objective is to enable the customer to actively participate in a more active and conscious way to the energy market. So a double way of digital communication, a double channel with our customer has to be developed. This is, in essence, the uh, digitalization. Is it in essence, because as a, as a seasoned executive in the space, is it kind of a redef redefining of the role of a DSO in this new energy system with lots more prosumers, um, a, a lot more complex interactions? Yeah, I think we are going to redefine, to redesign the role of the distributors inside the energy value chain, inside the energy market. I think we are the center of the evolution of the new energy market. There will be, in the next coming years, in, in Europe, but also in Latin, in Asia and so on, a very, very important urban shift. Two-thirds of the power consumption in the next 10 years will, come, will become from big cities in the emerging and developing countries, but also from the OECD countries. And I think the issue of delivering high quality of service to the customers of the future cities, of the mega cities, with the best technology, with the best efficiency, also with the minimum cost, will be essential. And the word digitalization is very much connected to the convergence. Convergence means that in the smart cities we can use the same processes, the same application, the same ICT application and procedures for managing all the kinds of networks, including electricity, gas, water, transportation, telecommunication. It doesn't mean that we have to own these networks, but we can use the same technology, use the same processes for maximizing the efficiency in delivering in this very much, very much complex situation and evolution to deliver the best quality of service to our customers. Okay, and just to put it into context for you watching this right now, Enel is, is overseeing over 60 million uh, consumers in eight countries globally. 61 million. Oh, 61 million, yeah. there you go, I've been corrected. <laughs> so, so when yeah. you think about... The next the, year, 62. Oh, wow. Anyway. So this is it's onwards and upwards at Enel, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is... It puts everything into context. Yes. The system is becoming more complex, yes. but there is a lot of there is a huge scale here. So, how crucial is convergence, um, especially in the context of Enel, 
perhaps on a technology level, maybe an infrastructure level, and even on a geographic level. I think it's level. very, very, very important for us. Convergence means also you use in all the networks, in all the counties where we are in, the same processes, the same technology, the same application, the same products. We can run a network regardless of the regulatory frame using the same way in Romania, in Spain, in Brazil, in, the, in, in Chile or in Colombia. Because the networks, from a technical standpoint, from a process standpoint, is always the same. Of course, we have to take care of the regulatory frame, but basically the processes, the application and the technology are the same. We can use the same investment for developing technology and spread them out everywhere. And using a global sourcing to buy the same quality with better cost and delivering it to all our networks. Using the same applications in all the counties on cloud, localizing the data and using the same system in every county, but having the same system on cloud. Wow. So this is much bigger than just getting everyone on one software. No, yes. yes <laughs> There's yes, a lot at stake. Yes. Okay, I've got one more question area from you, uh, for you, and it's really around what, what, what next at Enel. Um, you're working on some really big projects in smart meters and grid automation. Would you like to tell us a bit about those? And yes, the bigger, biggest project we have today in the smart meter arena is the replacement of the 32 million of smart meters which we have in Italy. We installed the first smart meter in the year 2000. Now, after 15 years, they are a little bit old because they are at the end of their regulatory life, and their amortization life, or their technological life. So we are replacing with, with I think, one of the most advanced smart meter worldwide. Starting the next week with the first smart meter and replacing the 32 million in more or less five or six years. So this is a very important project. And this is the third generation of smart meter which we are implementing. We have a very important install base in Spain. We are starting up to have an important install base in Latin America and also in other countries, but Italy is the most important one. Okay, and, and then also on the grid automation side of things. Of course, in the grid automation as well, for supporting the amount of data which we need to manage within the network and also for managing all the measurement coming from the smart meters every 15 minutes, quasi real time. I think we need to deploy really a low latency communication network inside our network. So we are also deploying fiber optic in our networks for using this new technology, but also for offering this uh, fiber optic solution to the telecommunication companies, the counties we are in, using the electrical network as a asset for deploying the fiber optics. So using the fiber optic solution, of course, we, have, we, can, we are able to deploy the very fast automation, distribution automation, and we are able in, in a range of 10, tens of milliseconds to arrange the topology of a network in order to cut off the part which are out of order and to deliver the same quality of service to our customers. Okay, so if I have one final thought from you, just yes. to close the interview, yes. um, what are you most looking forward to considering when you started the smart meter rollout uh, back in 2000, in the early 2000s, and, and looking at the, the themes of digitization and convergence, what are the kind of technologies and innovations that you are really looking forward to seeing? I think besides technology and innovation, which is very important, I would like to add that for us it's essential to have a very good regulatory frame, an innovative regulatory frame. Without an innovation in the regulation, in the legislative frame, it's very difficult to have a very good investment for the evolution of a technology and to have a fair return in our investment. So a revolution in the Regulation is important and also I think for having a very good smart grid working is important to have very good uh, smart customers. Also the education is very important. The self-consciousness of our customers in their consumption profile, energy consumption profile, I think is very important for supporting us in the evolution of the network.
Wow, Livy, I think that's a brilliant place for us to bring this interview to a close. So thank you very much for coming to the studio. Thank you, Adam, very much for your question, for the time and for this possibility to open up a discussion for all the people here in the exhibition. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to host Muchísimas the NLT. Muchísimas gracias. <laughs> thank, gracias. You. thank you. And thank you for tuning into this interview. If you'd like to see more about NL's projects, the, big, the macro concept of digitalization, perhaps convergence, and even regulatory frameworks to en 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 enable the future grid, please check out our content on the screen. Thank you.